In gaming, everyone has guilty pleasures, whether they want to admit to them or not. Some are on the more perverted side of things, to say the least. But some are just bad games that they don't really want to admit that they like. But not me though. So today, we're gonna dive into some of my favorite gaming guilty pleasures. Let's lock in. The first game I wanna talk about is Sonic Unleashed. Now I think this is 50% an amazing Sonic game. I do have fond memories of playing Werehog Sonic, you know, being a werewolf, but I also remember that song in the background repeating over and over and over again. Over, 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 over. Over and 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 over. Oh my god, it was annoying. But Sonic Unleashed, I look back upon in a good manner. I don't think it's a bad game like a plethora of other Sonic games. I won't get into that. Sonic Adventure 1. <laughs> But I think the actual 3D Sonic gameplay when you're not a werehog is fantastic. All the 3D Sonic stages in Sonic Unleashed are fantastic. Now, story-wise, it has one of the worst mascots of all time in it. I think his name was Chip. Yeah, his name was Chip. Yeah, Chip is annoying as hell. <laughs> like, he's one of the most annoying characters of all time. But if you look past all the crap, which most people can't, and I'm not blaming you at all, but if you look past the crap, you might find a good, a good Sonic game if you if you squint a little bit. Just, just squint just a little bit and a little sliver of hope is the the next game i want to talk about is one that always stuck with me because i think the graphic design stands to this day it is binary domain binary domain is one of those games that you probably have seen before but you probably haven't played before it is a game about androids or not even androids just like robots having human skin and not knowing they're human and they're basically like sleeper cells and they just exist in the world and they're just infiltrated as humans and nobody knows if you are an android or not dope concept right it's really cool moments in that game but but when that game came out on a PS3 and 360 back in the day, it had voice commands and it ran poorly. It was a team based game and it had Years of War combat, but trying to get your teammates to do a command using your voice, good fucking luck. Try yelling, charge at the top of your voice. Charge. 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 Ah, forget it. No. Like, it's one of the most hardest things to do in that game. It's worse than, like, connect speed. It was some of the worst voice commands in gaming. But, to play without that, it's perfectly fine. It's just very bland gameplay-wise. It had the same engine as uh, the Yakuza games and a lot of Sega 3D games at the time. So it has a very stylistic look, a very, like, unique style that those games have. But, it's also this one thing that sticks out for me in that game, and it's this character named Bo. He's kind of a stereotype of a black man. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I look past all that for the cool concept and the cool word they created. And it's fun. Next, we have a game that's in one of my favorite franchises of all time, but it's also pretty mediocre gameplay wise. I'm talking about Yakuza Dead Souls. Like it's a third person shooter and shooting in Yakuza games is horrendous. Does. I don't know what they be aiming at. I don't know. I don't even know how they got that control scheme to be a thing. But aiming in the game is like worse than old school Resident Evil. It's 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 bad. And of course, I have a lot of zombies on screen, a lot of monsters on screen on PS3. Laggy. <laughs> <laughs> like it's really bad even though i love the characters that they chose for the game because it's a spin-off game so they chose different characters from different points in the series i would not recommend this game to anybody but i personally enjoy it like a motherfucker i enjoy how wacky the yakuza franchise is and this game is one of the wackiest ones by far another guilty pleasure of mine which came out recently and i'll probably get slander for but it is what it is i enjoyed suicide squad for what it was not gonna lie i wasn't one of those people who, who hated the story they did they quote unquote had to heal that man allegedly because there's leaks now that it might be you know not the case but i think the gameplay is very solid the major issues for me personally was the end game loop for a game that wants you to grind for weapons builds to do bigger numbers to kill more enemies to go to a higher level to your difficulty the loop was boring as shite and the loot wasn't that great most of the time so if the end game loop for a looter shooter is not fun why are we here like why are we here the reason why warframe is doing well why the first city is doing well right now is because the end game loop is fun the carry in front of your head to chase after the better loot the better weapons the better materials is better in those games and for suicide squad it's not really there of course i have some issues with the story and like you know lackluster moments but i enjoyed the story for what it was it makes sense to kill batman that way i'm sorry unfortunately they made it take place in the arkham universe so people had this attachment to that world which i get i still do as well 
I love the Arkham series. If I don't like it, I will say I don't like it, but I wasn't mad at it. I w it wasn't terrible, in my opinion. But yeah, Suicide Squad is still getting hate for good reasons, because, you know, they haven't fixed much of what the issues of the core game is. The time I did play it, which was about 80 hours or close to it, I had a lot of fun. So yeah, Suicide Squad. Disappointing, but still one of my guilty pleasures that I will think about fondly. Now, this guilty pleasure is one of my favorites for a long time. I got my PS3 a year after it first came out, the big, fast, slim one, backwards compatible one. I love that console, right? And the first game I got with it, you would think I'd get something better, but the first game I got with it was Kane and Lynch Dead Men. And let me tell you, this game, it ain't no good. <laughs> it ain't no good. It's average as ever when it comes to like gameplay, characters, story, world, pretty much everything about it is just average. However, the enticing part about this whole game was the multiplayer. The concept of the multiplayer was basically you're a bunch of robbers and you're trying to rob a bank or something. And at any point in time, you could betray the people you came with and steal all the money for yourself. Now, I don't know about you, but that is a fire concept. Pay doesn't do that. Nobody really does that. But this game was one of the first and early ones to do that. And it was so fun because at any moment in time, foul. Either you're dead or you pop somebody. And it's so fun and everything get hectic. Everybody like, who did it? What's going on? And trying to figure out how to get out of them. Love it. I'm going to bunch a few of these together because they kind of give me the same vibe. But Suda51 and Grasshopper Manufacture Games are all my guilty pleasures. Now, this is not me saying that, oh, these games are bad or not popular because I believe No More Heroes is popular. But all these games have one or two moments in them. Even in No More Heroes, Killer is Dead, and Lollipop Chainsaw, and Shadows of the Dam. All these games have moments in them that if someone walked in on you and it's that right scene, they're going to look at you side eyes and ask you, yo, what you doing? What are you playing? Because everyone. Now that is a big boner. Every game has a moment like this that leaves you looking over your shoulder wondering, hey, I hope nobody watch me right now. <laughs> but those games are all fun in their own unique ways. Super stylistic as well. Like, I love this over the top, like, double A style games that came out during that time period. We don't get as many nowadays because the gaming industry is like overly spending on games and everything is overblown. Hopefully, eventually, we'll get back to that same stride of just unique, janky messes. Another controversial one for me personally, because I know a lot of people don't like this game in this series, I enjoy DMC Devil May Cry. Yes, the remake that was done by Ninja Theory. Yes, that one. It definitely has issues, right? I won't say it doesn't. DMC is one of those games that people did not give a chance because it didn't stick to the core of the Devil May Cry franchise, which is perfectly fine. I agree. DMC 5 is head and shoulders better than DMC Devil May Cry by a long shot. By a long shot. But when this game first came out, I was wondering why was people hating on it so much? Like, I love Devil May Cry a lot. The only main issues I agree with that everyone else talked about is that the combat is lackluster because they had this color like you had to be blue attacks to blue enemies red attacks to red enemies and it made the combat more stagnant because you couldn't use a variety of different weapons that you have because they want you to kill this enemy with this type of weapon but basically devil may cry games are all about the spectacular combos you do with a multitude of weapons and a multitude of skills so it made sense to hate on that gameplay aspect for sure. People didn't like Dante's character. I, I get it. I was fine with it, but I get it. People didn't like Virgil as much. Only thing I didn't like about Virgil was that weak ass bowler hat he had on. What the fuck was that bowler hat? But I think the world design and the world in general of DMC was beautiful and well fucking done. Like well crafted worlds. The television world, television boss area of DMC was one of my favorite maps ever for a long period of time. It's a failure. <laughs> so people don't talk about it in a bright side. People don't talk about it in a positive because we also got a spectacular game that came after that which is dmc5 so it's what it is but this game is still pretty solid especially when they fixed a lot of the issues that people had added more content to it but you don't forget your first impression so i can't be mad at people for hating on it but i'll be the man standing up in the crowd like she is very gorgeous to me <laughs> But that has been my gaming guilty pleasures. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know some of your gaming guilty pleasures down in the comments. But other than that, I'm out. Peace. Look, the show's over. Fuck it, let's call some hoes over. 
I live a bitch, the type who won't give her no closure. What it is, you acting like that, I don't know you. You acting like that, I don't know you. The show's over, fuck it, let's call some hoes over. Leave a bitch, 